proficiency exam uh, is upon us. Uh, let's get it. Let's get move over it. Let's be done with it so we can graduate and you know take care of our lives, right? Problem 21. The depth of a rectangular wadding pole is 2 feet. The volume of the pole is 16 cubic feet. What is the area in square feet of the bottom of the pole? All right. Well, what can we do here? Rectangular wadding or wading, well, I think it's wadding pole, you know, is two feet. The depth. The volume of the pole is 16 cubic feet. What is the area? Like I always said, you better put, you know, some kind of shape in front of you that resembles the given, uh, you know, object in the problem, in this case, a pole, because that will help you visualize what should be done and what are you looking for, right? So if this is your pole, your pole obviously being rectangular has a um, rectangular box shape, right? You got length, you got width, you got height. Length, width, and height. And as you guys can see, the bottom of your pole here, that's your base, that's the base of your pole. Right? And that's what you have to find. Well, let's look at the facts. What is the depth? The depth is two feet. Well, because you're talking about a pole, obviously instead of height, we're using depth here, and if you call it height in your drawing, it really doesn't matter. Your height is 2, right? Depth. The volume of the pool, the volume of this pool is 16 cubic feet. Okay? As you can see, my height is also given in feet. Very important to check what are the units on each one of the measurements that are presented to you because otherwise uh, you will definitely be way off with your answer. What is the volume of a rectangular box? Well, many of you will remember that the volume of a rectangular box is length times width times height, right? Because you're multiplying all of them. I know, but now you will say, hey, but uh, I don't see any area, you know, any area of the bottom, of the base, right? But boys and girls, length times width is what? Is this rectangle right here, which makes the base of your pole, makes the bottom of your pole, and that will be the area of the bottom, let's say AB, okay? So I will know that these two L times width are, my, are the area of the bottom, and this way, the volume, another formula for, the, for your volume here will be the area of the bottom times the height. Now plug in everything you have. And I have the volume, 16 feet, and I have my height, or my depth, 2 feet. Plug them in. And your equation becomes now 16 equals the area of your bottom. <laughs> The area of your pole's bottom, don't get me wrong, with you know too many butts in here, right? Bottoms of the pole times two, right? Because the depth, height, is two. And obviously, without doing any complicated algebraic uh, operations here, you guys can see that the area of the bottom, the area of the pole's bottom, is 16 divided by two, which is a 8 watt cubic feet. And this is the way you solve it. This is not the only way. Um, there are many other ways. And that's why the answer to this problem here, the option is B, because the area, as we found it, is uh, 8 cubic feet. That's it. Thank you.